Polyon, show me your power. That's it. That's it. You, you bricked it. Total command. Two prize cards sinking out the guy with three energies. Impressive damage. Now let's see how much you do with this. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Well, hello, Nogros, and the Frenchals. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. Hey, and all this menu, I'll be serving you Empoleon. Yeah, that card from the theme deck shop. In fact, every Pokemon here is from the theme deck shop. And in this new era of Pokemon, non GX cards and Pokemons from the theme shop are very strong. Yeah, because they added in Shrine of Punishment, they added in Choice Man, and this particular Pokemon actually has a very strong high damage combo for very low energy. So, uh, let's show you the updated version of this. Let's break it down. 15 second version, how does this work? Total Command does a lot of damage for bench Pokemon, yours and your opponent. You're gonna fill up your bench, charge it up with energies, load up the damage with Shrine of Punishment and Choice Man, and it's gonna wreck GX decks. That's the short version. We also have a uh, immune GX immune nine tails that will throw your opponent off. Using a GX deck, uh oh, you got two big things to worry about. Yeah, GX decks, they're not gonna like this. So here we go. Let's break it down to more uh, detailed version. Here we go. Apollyon, he's the emperor. Every Pokemon is a subject. However, only the bench Pokemon count. Active Pokemon is like they're fighting, you know, and one is Apollyon. So a five for your bench is. 100 damage. Your opponent is probably not going to fill their bench for 200 damage. So I guess optimally 3. So that's 160. You know, they make it go for less, but it's really less efficient for them. Expect to be 3 for that side. So 160. Average. With choice man, that's 190 for GX Pokemon. And adding in the Shrine of Punishment, you can nail the all the major GX Pokemon out. The stage 2 is a little bit difficult. I might have to wait for the shrine to kick in a little bit more, but it hurts. And let's see, that's that's Empoleon's deal. The energy costs way too easy. You can even throw a counter energy if you're losing. Yeah, if you're losing, clearly losing in prize cards, they'll switch, instantly charge up your Empoleon. And that's something that Garchomp couldn't do last last time. It didn't have a one-turn charge. It also couldn't use Guzma and go for the bench line. So this has a more straightforward combo and like, hey, is Garchomp better? Well, this thing has that. Okay, so anything else? I think, uh, you know, these are nice numbers for Empoleon. We're gonna move on to Ninetales. I like, I know this. It's a mutant GX Pokemon. It does quite a bit of damage. Two shot K KOs with that shrine. Oh, yeah, GX Pokemon. They're not gonna like Empoleon because it's high damage and they can't get through the Ninetales. So really just break up those GX combos. Yeah, so that is, wow, that's pretty much it. Everything else is just to make the deck set up. And once again, everything here is from the theme shop. They're from the different theme decks, but you could get all the Pokemon to easily make this, rig it up, and you're gonna have a good time with this. Trust me, you're gonna have a good time. So that is it. Think this is gonna work? Oh yeah, you bet it is. Here we go. I need your help. What do you want? I need a coin flip. Again! Okay. Donald, I think this is Tails. Trust me, it is Tails. I believe in you. I believe in you, Banana Master. Nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Well done. All right. We're going first then. All right. So next match is against Storlock Zombie Lovers. Storlock Orange. He won the giveaway today. So let's get started. Good luck to you, Zombie. I'm going to play my uh, cover of Mirror Knight from Demo. Yeah. This is fresh. Nobody should have heard this before. At all. Well, my cover of this is that is. So, okay, so Vulpix going out first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have the, you're the throwaway Pokemon of sorts, or the shield. Let's go. Now, what could be bad if Lele snipes this off for the, at the start? It's a type no. All right, so let's get this going. We need Banana Master down. I think, I, I, I love you, Banana Master. You're always a priority. No, I might be able to evolve this, so. Let's load this up here, and I don't want counter energy. I want DC or you know something else on this. Well, that's just how it is sometimes. So if it's not gonna attack anyway, so you know just leave it out there. 
And we're gonna let it be. That's all we can do. We want to save this one Ultra Ball to Rare Candy next turn. Yeah, yeah, just let it be. Let it be. Acro Bike Extender. Now it's Zombie Turn. Let's see what he does here. All right, Ultra Ball. Lele? It's Articul. Oh, yeah, there's Articul GX here. And there's his infamous Lapras. He's looking for the best Lapras build. He is like the Lapras Pokemon Master, so maybe we can help him with that later. All right, coming out. It's going to be taking Liza as the starting opener. Draw some water. I got to do the best one. And take Liza's five towards Lily's eight. That's why we run four Lilies, but you know, it's all a chance. It's all a chance. Acrobike thinners. They combo well because it works with the Aqua Patch. So, oh, he threw away the Ultra Ball. It's Silvali. Ah, uh, Lapras. Oh, yucky stadium. All right, first of all, let's see if this works. Load this up. We have rare candy, so we do want to hold on to this. And we only get three card pools. That's okay, because if I land on Polyon, then I get to rare candy this out. I guess I'll, I'll do it. I'll rare candy this out, and I'll print blue. Wow, that was a good Lily. Lily is like, she's my girl. I'm your girl. All right, that is it. I can't do anything just yet. I got to wait for my DCE. Actually, waiting for DCE is a little bit rough here. So uh, we're going to try to find the energy later. So Lapras can't hurt this. Zombie's gonna find another way. Fighting memory. Oh man, Zombie, were you the guy who used the 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 the, the Xerneas break version of this? All right, leave me at me. Hi, do you run Banana Master? Always, always. I even bought him in real life, man. I even bought him in real life. So what the Zombie should do here is just try to goose by the bench. I, Ninetales will try her best to uh, fight here. All right, following up, I got three draw supporters. I'm just going to Cynthia and see what I can get. Maybe a double color synergy to attack, uh, or just to help develop my bench. Either way, we will see. The more bench Pokemon that shows up, the better the better damage that Apollyon comes out there for. And all the GX Pokemons burn, burn, burn. Ooh, he can force me to switch with this. Here we go. Let's start development. Banana Master, it's been too long, buddy. You've got to be here. You're always, always welcome to the bench. Now that every, you know one of everything is up now, you got another energy. It looks like he doesn't have much to get through this. However, he's gonna be able to force me to switch, and that's gonna be a little bit of a problem. So, Banana Master, if he does force the switch, you're going out. We got two of you. It's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, buddy, but this is just what it comes out to. The thing is, I want to—if I want to drop my Guzma now or not—I was like, I might not want to drop my Guzma. That Guzma, those Guzmas are good, man. All right, so the Shrine is burning his GX up. He's gonna put a DC up front here. Now he does have a free switch already. He does have his free switch, and it looks like this can hurt me pretty badly. Yeah, so we'll see what we do here. Merciless Strike, not badly enough though. 70 damage isn't going to be enough to finish me off, so I got to go ahead and try to get rid of this here. I also, have, uh, I also go for the back, too. 140. Oh my gosh, I think that's enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I don't even have to use the choice band, but I do need the energy here. Let's go ahead and get that Lapras. Switch in. At this point, these are all deck. You know, I can get more value with Banana Master. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, zombie. That does stink. I could get him poly now. Guaranteed that it's this one is able to fight as well. So that's why I'm gonna pull it out right now. Here we go. Here we go. Banana Master, three card pool. So another one could get three card pool as well. Okay, that's it. That's it. You, you bricked it. Total command. Two prize cards sinking out the guy with three energies. Why was that a the shrine and the shrine and choice man was able to get me to that? So point where I could take it out. So you gotta have some tool removal for this. Shrine is good. Shrine is really nice here. Hi, Giraffe Gal! I'm glad you can make it. Yep, you're hearing Mirror Knight. Uh, my cover for the Mirror Knight for the first time too is from Demo. Donald, you got you got buy the Demo game. I think I did. I beat it. I just need the Demo 2 game and see what else uh, that company is putting out too. All right. So I mean, we take out the Type Null. 
threat of the Nine Tails is still back here. I was like, this is getting charged up. That was the only thing. It was it's a water Pokemon. It was the only water Pokemon, so it's not a bad fighter. It can get around the Nine Tails, and it forces Zombie to you know charge up, not fight with his weaker Pokemon, not these. He really wants to fight with these stronger, more powerful stats Pokemon, but he can't. Uh, I mean, this is charged up. It's a threat. And Apollo's like, I will protect you, man. I will protect you. Now these energies, you know, they're just gonna uh, count towards this. It'd be recycled instead of being used for what they're supposed to be done for. Used for falling behind. Yeah, yeah. It can fit right here too. All right, so our line is set up. We're pretty confident here. Uh, the, this is getting charged up. There's nothing that can actually take down this poly. It's pretty tanky. The thing that could was just taken out. We uh, we Guzma. We only have two Guzmas, because you know. You know, I don't want to clog it up. I'm kind of a slow deck. I need time, and I don't. I can't take advantage of the early bench sniping from the Guzma here. Banana Master, you see that? You see how many you have put there? No coconuts. All Banana Master. All Banana Master. Thank you, Donald. I appreciate it. Okay. Let's put Print Loop over here. Next in battle, this. Let's go ahead and play Lily. Rare Candy, Empoleon, full bench, total command, and Empoleon pressures Zombie not to fill up his bench as well, because that keeps uh, my power high. So now we're taking out threats that can defeat Ninetales. This is coming out, I filled up my bench, so he's likely to use Rebel GX. Yeah, he needs 7 more damage! He needs 7 more damage to use the Turbo Drive, which would have been more value. So Rebel GX, Empoleon's like, oh, I'm going down. You did good, man. You took out three Pokemons. Three Pokemons. You did good job. You earned your rest here. We're trying to find your friend. Is is this low? That's pretty low. It needs to do 150 damage. There's not a bench space. I need a choice man next. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I know this for sure can fight, though. However, he can use Volcanion. That combos nicely. That forces me uh, to send Banana Master out. But right now, the Shrine is... I mean, that's, that's more GX Pokemons. There's a Dawn Wing, but you know, you don't get free retreats with the Dawn Wings at the moment. I don't know how he's how he's dealing with that. Oh, Silvly, Silvly, Silvly. I see. Nice one. Dang it. Rebel GX. There goes our man. Now I can't KO him if I this is a heads. He knows about that, but he can get around once I said it, he can't get around that. So the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I have to KO. What am I doing? What to do for five, six, seven? I don't need anything. Well, you just wasted a switch then. Let's just rare candy and get him pulling it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get in there. Get in there. And we can ultra ball for thinners later. I kinda, I kinda need it now though. Okay, that's just an error. Here we go. Total command. Good value, good value. And Pauline takes another her 2 2 prize cards. Alright, I'm gonna need that to fit my. Uh, I can't play these. Energy can go here, that's okay. Layla comes out, it's. It's. They, they're trying to keep spooling them into Pauline's one shot range. So, Pauline's like, yes, I'm. This deck is completely of all theme deck Pokemons and cheap trainers. Pretty cheap, pretty cheap, so. I think we got this, this time, Zombie. This time, Coconut Master comes out for one last draw support. One last supporter pull. Revenge. All right. So now he could DC and fight, but I think he already applied energy here. He can also, let's see, choice ban. Now he... All right, let's see what's happening. Reshuffling. I need one more prize guard. My damage right now is... Pretty good. I actually, with the shrine, I, I should be able to finish this off. Never mind, he took the shrine away, so I need something else. That, no, I'm gonna put the shrine back. And that's gonna be able to finish him off. That should finish Zombie off. Alright, I'm gonna send something that can actually retreat. And something that he can't hurt either, so... Here we go, this is a free retreat on it. I'm just gonna retreat and attack with Empoleon. If he doesn't play anything else, that's too crazy. I should be able to finish Coconut Master out. He could send this in and buy a turn. 
You could send in your Dawing the Crossma zombie. And I won't be able to finish it immediately. There we go. Now I have to attack it. You got it, zombie. We're gonna charge up Empoleon. We couldn't finish it off, just like we said. We're not lying. I'm not lying on zombie right now. So, we're gonna go ahead. You know why this is good? Because you could just pull this and this. Get some value right there. And before I do stuff, uh, let's go ahead and we can get, fill up our bench space to maximum. That increases the damage. Actually, I may have the damage now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Eight. 160. Okay, this is enough. This is enough. So this should be enough here. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to do total command. Take this out. All right. There we go. We got it. We got it. Sorry, zombie. It just lined up for me right at the end there. So good game. Good game, zombie. Next time. All right. Trips. Fairy. Psychic. Fighting. You feel like you that would, that, that would be a garden for deck, but it's not. The master, what do you think of this? I think this is tails, Donald. He says tails. Don't go for tails. Go for heads instead. But no matter what, you will always go second. Your luck is bad. Or you should just listen to me. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. That's okay. Going second is okay with this deck because you got the full picks here. So, let's play Meant to Be by BB Rexa. My cover of it. Let's go! I'm still playing that on the radio, right? All right. It's gonna be Lycan Rock Tapu Coco. Ugh. Ugh. Lots of Tapu Cocos, lots of Lycan Rocks, lots of spread bench damage. So we both love the bench here. And he's also got Acerola too, so he doesn't know what I'm playing just yet. All right, we both look like we're gonna get a pretty strong turn here. Let's see what I got. Now, I see Ultra Ball. And I am going to have the Ultra Ball to get the good value of Lily. Because I don't want Banana Master to fight. I do need to switch. I do need to double color his energy. I need a lot. But I'm, what I know for sure is he's not going to... Well, actually, he might come out with a Lele. That could be bad. I'm thinking, I'm, I want to send my Ninetales out, but he may get a Lele out and destroy me. So, what do we need? We don't need this. I kind of want to throw a Toss this out because this can still combo to something here. Polly, are you going to be the first guy who fights? Or Vulpix? This is where I really have to decide. I'm deciding Vulpix is going to fight. I've chosen that. Why? Just because. Here we go. Let's go ahead and Lily. Get this big hand. Try to get him up. All right. Let's get our shrine out in case we're both using shrine here. I still need to fill out my bench. I need to switch. I need the energy. So, this is not looking so good. I'm gonna be Ultra Ball. I already see it. I gotta get the Guzma the energy out. This counter energy out. Or maybe not. We'll see. We will see. The reason Polyam's going up front is because you need to be able to start smacking these Cocos. So I hope. Please do fill up your bench. And I hope my baggage gets filled up too. So. Five centimeters per second. That was a good one. That's a good movie. I'll need to check those, uh, those, uh, those piano songs. Thank you, Busey and Gar. Hi, Rising Moon. All right, we're gonna see. We're trying to deal with uh, this bench spread here. I mean, we both need a bench spread. Yeah, Lele, fly and flip. So my uh, my tech is gonna be as useful here. All right, so what am I gonna Ultra Ball? The Guzma is not as useful. Order Switch could go to, but I really need a draw supporter here. So let's do this. Let's get an extra Banana Master. I mean, if you're really stuck, you need you need, you need need Banana Master. Let's get him polyed out. Let's throw that energy in. We're going to go ahead and switch him in. And we're going to throw a Banana Master now. I mean, we need some cards. Bad. We need Bench Pokemon bad, too. That will do. That will do, Banana Master. Let's get a... Uh, oh, I only have two Bench Pokemon left. That's not good. Well, thank you, Prize Cards. Or we should add some more. Probably to add some more is going to be the big thing here. Well, this is a guarantee that I get another bench Pokemon, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss that down. 
All right, so that means... No, there's just... There's just three... Two prize set bench Pokemon. So I did fill up my bench. I'm gonna go ahead and do Total Command, because I don't want these things to keep peppering my bench. Take some prize guards. And the real carry... I mean, this got no GX so far. I have to focus on using Empoleon here. So I should be able to... He shouldn't be able to take me out here, but... This thing could get scary if he starts charging this up. And Counter Energy works pretty nice there. So... He's got Lycan Rock. Uh-oh, he's probably gonna pull Banana Master. Luckily, I'm just holding the Counter card here. So I'm good. I'm gonna try to double Banana Master some pulls. And we really... We really could've filled it. The prize situation kind of stunk here. The prize situation is kind of... Woo! Hi, zombie. Where the Twitch squad at? They're somewhere. How do you don't how do you build your Electro GX deck? You gotta check my YouTube channel for that. Check out the uh, the, the Huntail version, because that's the more cool version there. Let's go for all out bench damage. Oh man, he's gonna probably take the water energy. Okay. That's fine. It means I can pull it in. As long as I pull energy, I'm okay. So with the Tapu Lele. Yeah. Alright, we got a draw supporter, so let's go ahead and send Napoleon back up. We're gonna get value our banana mess before we Cynthia. So let's see if we can uh, what else we can get. We need energy. There we go. Get one more, then we'll can probably Lily. Cause Lily's just not as good. Okay, choice man. The back one, the front one looks like it's about to die. So I'll go in the back one. Then now Lily, and uh, let's get some more Pokemon's evolved. That's okay. There we go. Total command. Come on, bench Pokemon. Get out my prize cards. That's a little lame there with the prizes, but. There we go, basic Pokemon. Now we can come out and GX, but he's like, no, I'm gonna go for more bench damage. And by that time, you better be ready. You better be ready, Piplup. You picking that up already? I guess he really wants to get another pull out. All right. This gotta evolve, otherwise this dies. And these are looking a little scared, afraid of here. So, let's go ahead and get this up. This one's the most fresh one here. I'm gonna Cynthia because I need more cards to evolve. I need some switches. I did have a switch, but... You know, okay, switch is back. Alright, well, that's not good. That means the Vulpix is gonna die! Alright, now we got two sort of switches here. We need rare candy. We need this to rare candy out ASAP. Wherever it is, and uh, we'll just see what how it holds up because I don't have another attack already right now. I need energy on this guy and something else. Yeah, two water energy is a bit of a waste here, so this is scary. Nope, I'm not adding anyone. I am not adding anyone at the moment because it's gonna fill the bench space pretty quick. All right, Lycan Rock is gonna come out now. It only has an energy, so it can't attack me. And I was like, don't worry, I've got the counters here. I've got the counters here, so I'm okay. I'm not gonna be stuck by that. I also have Tate Liza. I think that's my last switch, so I gotta be really, really careful. I also have Guzma as well. And let me see what my damage is. No, I was like, yeah, maybe you should get the choice, man. I should rather finish that off. I think I can finish it off, too. The thing is, I need an energy. Okay, I got an energy. I think I might be okay. All right, Lycan Rock. How much damage do I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that really ten? Six. That's ten. Okay, in that case, go get that. Get that later. That's for later. Cynthia, come on, rare candy, evolve this before he might get another bench snipe off of me. There we go. Stop him from killing me. Or bad. What can you get for me? Nothing. Total command! Math is wrong. But you're low. You're low. I guess I could have taken that out, tried to go for the bench again. That's okay. I think we're still... Really? 10? 10 times 2? Bench! It does not count the front. It does not count the front, man. You can't... Uh, you, didn't, you forgot that text. It does not count the front Pokemon. It's gonna go for Lele. Probably for Acerola. But that means he can't attack me. Unless he gets the counter energy. We'll see. If he Acerola's, that means he doesn't get any cards either, so that's good. 
That's gonna be very good there, and even this could uh, get a battle too. It could be a Guzma. In that case, I would get stuck for a bit. It's gonna be Cynthia, so I was like, yeah, I will fight with this. And hopefully you can fight, man. Otherwise, I have to peck with this. <laughs> That'd be funny, but uh, yeah, it would get the job done for sure. It would get the job done for sure. I don't have to worry about evolving this, too, so... We'll see. I could go either way. So, you, he can't play Acerola. He played Cynthia. He didn't want to be dead stuck, and that's probably the smarter move there. Alright, so, Bench is pretty weakened. The Lele can get one value, like one or two kills, so that's still pretty scary to worry about. And, let's see. He's gonna go for the GX here. That's the only move he could do. Dangerous Rogue. On, a uh, Apollyon. But, I, I don't got GX Pokemon. This will burn out! In fact, the Shrine is just going to kill him, straight kill him. Never mind. Well, the Shrine is going to kill him afterwards, so uh, this means I win. I win! I win, I know what it is. C total command. And <laughs> the Shrine is going to get him. Okay! Okay. There we go, and Shrine! Hi, Donna. Once again, you get carried by me. Try. Oh! <laughs> That's it, I saw it, man. I would just nap for it. Okay, two fries, the Pokemon. I was like, oh, no, that got me. That sort of got me with the damage that they get there. Woo! All right, I was getting more because of the damage. I was getting peppered. That Lele could have came in and just uh, maybe uh, annoyed stuff, did some annoying things. And luckily, we, you know, we got things going. Everything was not under control. I was like, some opponents need to evolve and stuff. And well, looks like you made it to the end. Thank you. Congratulations. It's how we rate this on Polly Day. So, let's stick to him. Amalian, what do we like about you? You have a very efficient energy to damage attack. Two energies, and you can get up to 200 damage with this? That's a 4.5 right there. Even other Pokemons out there, they don't get this good of a value for their two energies. And the condition, rather easy to meet. So, 4.5 right there. Uh, defense, I'm sorry, damage, damage, 4.5 as well. Stage 1 GX are easily in the dunk range. Stage 2? Well, we can have to, you know, burn them out a bit with this. And then they'll be there. The damage is quite high, uh, but given the overall pacing of this deck, mm, you may not be chain dunking, but you can chain dunk Stage 1 easily. So, uh, because Stage 1s are in your grasp, I'm going to give this a 4.5. A defense? These are one Brian Scott Pokemons. And this may take a little bit of extra time for your opponent to get through, so you'll be able to buy a lot of time throughout the game. Yeah, like those uh, basic GX Pokemons where you lose two prize cards. This is different. You'll feel, oh man, they gotta work to get you uh, get those prize cards. You get a little bit of extra points here, 4.5, above normal, just a bit there. Reliability, I mean, you didn't have, you don't got the Lucario, but overall, you don't cost as much as Lucario. Lucario and Garchomp was expensive. Comparing to yesterday's deck, this thing's still pretty easy to set up. It's got the better energy costs here, so overall, um, I still like being able to find everything I want from the yesterday's deck. So this is why I'm going to give it a little bit less. Overall, it's pretty simple to set up. Yeah, even though it doesn't have that little special ability. So grading, I'm going to give this a 4.3. You are really close to Garchomp. I still think that Garchomp is a little bit extra to do all those dragon techs, but this is still very close. Really, really, really close. It's got that Guzma combo that the Garchomp can't do. So, overall, I like this one. If you need a backup to that Garchomp, it's like, I'm tired of Garchomp. This thing's gonna rock it. This thing's good, 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 good. So, it's a great budget deck for right now. Try it out. It's easy to do. So, that is it for now. What do you have for next time? Alright, we're gonna go to expand it. We're gonna use... I'll show you the combo right now. We're gonna use Hustle Belt. Yeah, Pokemon has to be a wounded Pokemon with under 30 hit points for 60 damage. Is there a combo with this? Other than Heracross? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Huh? Let me put the standard filter out. Where does that jump take? You're like, doll, that doesn't work that way. Oh. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You may have read what the Hustle Belt does. It does work with the jump deck. I'm going to show you how that works tomorrow. So, uh, that's it for now. All right, closing it out. So, please like, subscribe, because I got more 
I got more facility videos for you coming. Uh, I stream live on Twitch. You'll just have to follow me to know when those happen. Uh, Patreon helps out with Twitch. YouTube helps everything happen. So if you support me on Patreon, always thank you very much. And you Twitch subscribers too. Uh, Discord link right in the description covers or on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. So that is it for now. Thank you and the gross differentials. Take it easy. Stay safe. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right.